Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new after effects tutorial today we will create a particle text animation so let's see what we will create today This video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, motion graphics, video editing and more. You can join any class, try any project and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate and even teach a class of your own. Premium memberships gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills unlock new opportunities and do the work you love click the link in the description box below and get your two month of skillshare premium access for free before i start this tutorial i like to tell you in this tutorial i'm using third party plugin called trapcode particular if you don't have this plugin you can download the free trial version from link in the description box below so please check this out okay so let's get started Okay, so first create a new composition, go to composition, new composition and let's call it particle text animation. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 8 seconds then click on OK. Okay, now we are create our text layer so right click here then new and click on text and then type your text here. I type in happy new year 2019 and let's customize it little bit looks good to me then make it center okay now go to effect and preset window and search for 3d fallback scramble and blur then select this preset and apply onto this text layer perfect okay now select this layer and press u to open keyframes then select all keyframes and press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph crop to something like this for smooth animation. Looks good to me. Okay now select this layer and press T to open opacity. Then go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on opacity and set it to 0. Then go for about few seconds maybe 10 frames then set it 100%. Perfect. Ok now select this layer then right click and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to text then click on ok. Make this layer 3D by clicking here then select this layer and press ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer then turn off visibility of this layer. Ok now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out. Ok now select this right click layer then put it below the text layer then also right click pre-compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to light clicks then click on ok also make this layer 3d then change this layer track mat to luma mat for this uh, you, if you don't have this track mat button simply click here then change the layer track mat to luma mat perfect Ok now go to around 2 seconds then select this layer and then press T to open opacity then set a keyframe on opacity then go forward few seconds maybe 3 seconds 20 frames then opacity set it 0 then select this layer and turn on visibility of this layer then press T to open opacity then go to the first keyframe and then set a keyframe on opacity and make it 0 then go to the second keyframe and opacity set it 100% perfect now it looks something like this
okay now we are create a particle so right click here then new and then click on solid and rename it to particles then click on okay okay now go to effect and preset window and search for particular then select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer okay now change some settings go to emitter and then uh, go to around 2 seconds then set a keyframe on particle per second and set it 0 then go forward 10 frames then particle per second set it 113040 then select this layer and press U to open keyframes then again go forward few seconds and then particle per second set it 0 perfect then emitter type set it layer then velocity set it 50 and then velocity random set it maybe 83 velocity from motion set it 0 then go to layer emitter and then layer set it text and layer sampling set it uh, current time and layer rgb uses set it lightness size perfect now go to particles then spear feather set it uh, 10 particle type set it uh, glow spear then size set it 2.5 and then uh, size random set it 100 then click on size over life then draw a curve to something like this perfect then uh, opacity random set it 50 then open opacity over life then click on preset and select this last preset then color set it your text color then blend mode set it add perfect looks good to me ok, okay now go to physics then click on air then windex set it 130 then click on turbulence field and then effect size set it 14 and then effect position set it 245 perfect okay let's ram preview this Wow, it's look really nice. Okay, now we are creating nice zoom out effect for this. Uh, uh, create a new null object. So right click new and click on null object. Make this null object 3D by clicking here. Then select this last three layers and paint it to null one. Then go to beginning of this animation, then select this layer and press P to open position, then set a keyframe on position, then go to end of this animation and increase the Z amount little bit. Perfect. Okay, let's add our background. So go to project window and select our background and, and place it in your timeline. Then press T to open opacity, then opacity set it 70 percent looks good to me okay now create a new black solid layer so right click new and solid and rename it to film bar then click on ok then put it above the all layers then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it 
then double click on this max path and hold down alt and control and drag then click here to invert perfect looks good to me the animation is ready press 0 to ramp view this if you like this tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a great day